Hello there, friends, and welcome back to A Chair in a Room, Greenwater. I am, of course, playing on my Oculus Rift by way of Steam VR. So here we are again, friends, back in Greenwater. Um, I just wanted to mention really quick uh, an issue that I've been having with this game. It's a, it's a small issue, but I think it's worth mentioning nonetheless. The save games aren't perfect. It seems like when I come in to continue a game, uh, the latest chapter that it will let me select is the one that I've just finished. So both times I've came back into this game, I've had to replay the last scene that I went through. No big deal if you know you know what the solutions are how to advance it's just five maybe ten minutes to uh, run through it all but it's a bit annoying nonetheless anyway I've been enjoying this game I've been uh, enjoying unraveling the mystery behind my character um, the last time we were in here we played through a scene where apparently I was holed up at the Pelican Motel um, it seems like the police took me at the end of the thing, but it cut off, so you really don't know for sure. But I imagine that's how I ended up in custody and ended up where I am right now. Uh, the only major clue that I found outside of the other half of the magazine story that I started in the uh, lodge was this Bible page here with blood, uh, blood on it letters and it says uh, wait for me in the lodge so what does that mean I don't know but uh, I'm sure we're gonna find out soon so let's go back to our trusty whiteboard here and see what it is asking of me this time by the way 4 a.m. the last time we were in here it was 2 a.m. so these uh, visions I'm having seem to pretty consistently last about two hours I don't know if that has any significance it's just an observation all right um it says who was the teenager in the water who else was out there it said that last time did the dead guy give me the Bible why the lodge why me there was a bird one who preys on the weakness of others yes we we saw the uh, vultures uh, in the um, the boat scene when we were riding on the swan boat and we found the dead body uh, there were vultures everywhere so let's go over here and grab the little paper mache vulture and trigger another vision <sighs> Chapter 4, The Psychiatry, March 2013. So this was not very long ago at all. <gasps> oh wow, that's a gnarly chair, man. Look at that. Looks like we have some posters blacked out by the shadows. I'd be interested to see what they are. One of them quotes Einstein. And we have a human skull. Interesting. The ever present radio. Looks like some building blocks. Any clues in the building blocks? Looks like a cemetery, maybe. Some trees knocked over. This could be the boat over here. This looks like maybe the scene from uh, the boat ride. Maybe this is the church. We got trees blown over. Knocked around everywhere from the storm. Let's 
some more blocks in the looks like a man and a lady some books some binders looks like some missing some cases on missing people deceased people more missing looks like we have a new postcard having fun at the zoo we tried to see you but the staff said that you're too unwell we really hope you get well soon X hmm too unwell for health it's a pretty bad state to be in power lamp well, where do we have a power lamp? I have not seen one yet. That drawer appears to be locked. Looks like it's got a piece of tape on it. Come on, man. I gotta have some fingernails. I wonder what is in that. See if we can find something to cut it open. Looks like we have some ink blots. Standard psychiatry. Okay. Blank notepad. Oh, nope. It's not blank. Bottom drawer bust. Remove top drawer to access. Oh. There we go. Oh, that was quite fruitful. We have a crank here. For what? I do not know. And a black light. Oh, it is on, friends. Now we can investigate. Find out what kind of dirty things have been going on in the office. All right. Most people do not really want freedom because freedom involves responsibility, and most people are frightened of responsibility. That seems like a very elitist belief, but I'm afraid that quite a few people would subscribe to that knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness darknesses of other people well that may be true all right let's see what these other ones say great spirits have often overcome violent opposition from mediocre minds when you are about to give up, just think why you held so long. Nice. I'm surprised they don't have the kitty cat poster that says, hang in there. Anything else we can do with this nifty lot other than look at inspirational posters? Is there any significance to the other book, or is that just there as filler? <laughs> I can't open it, so I imagine that there is no other significance to it. All right. Some interesting scratches on the side of the room is secure. Dr. Green would like you to wait here. Well, Dr. Green can eat it. I'm gonna do what I want. All right, um, Victoria Green is the psychologist, I guess, who's been treating me. Odd that I would be seeing a psychologist and not a psychiatrist.
Yeah, just more accolades for Dr. Victoria Green. Community Lifesaver staff and doctors of the Greenwater Institute have been publicly commended today by the city authorities in thanks of their productive response to the events surrounding the destructive storm of April last year. Lead psychiatrist, lead psychologist, lead psychologist Dr. Green made a focused speech thanking the staff of the Institute for their unquestioning support in a crisis and continued pursuit of a better future for all in the community. So it seems at least possibly it's a possibility that uh, the Greenwater Institute could be up to some something devious here in the area. Maybe some experimentation on people's minds. Because after all, most people don't really want freedom. Because freedom involves responsibility. So let's take away all people's responsibilities. And they will give us their freedom. All right, patient report. 6079, that's me. Taking six milligrams of psychazine. Negative memory function, aggressive and confused cognitive function. Ink block recognition has not been taken yet, so I guess that's what we're doing today. The patient is currently undergoing an aggressive treatment for severe psychotic episodes. Although conscious and aware of their surroundings, the patient seems to act out with imaginary visions. In many cases, focusing anger at hospital staff and damaging hospital property. These actions represent a significant danger to the general public. It is therefore my recommendation that the patient remains within the Institute's care for the foreseeable future. So this is some kind of a report, obviously, to be given to the state, who they're all chummy with, right? Oh, I can move this stuff? I can. All right, so either this is true, and I really am psycho, or this is just some kind of ruse, and these people are using medicine and other means to screw with my head. Time will tell. You have two new messages. Why do you leave questions unanswered, Doc? Can we not bury the dead? Why must you insist on dissecting their minds? His presence here will only shine a brighter light on our work. Tell me, Doc. Was it raining when Noah built the ark? Right, that said two messages, and I heard one. It sounded like it was someone, maybe uh, staff here, was concerned about a patient's presence. Wanted to know why they just wouldn't let someone go rather than to mess around in their head a bit first. Um, urging caution and preparation for uh, whatever repercussions might come later, but Interestingly, someone concerned about having light shed on their operations here, right? So if they're not doing anything wrong, why would they be concerned about that? Let's see if we can get another message out of this thing. You have two new messages. Why do you leave questions unanswered, Doc? Can we not bury the dead? Why must you insist on dissecting their minds? His presence here will only shine a brighter light on our work. Tell me, Doc. Do you not understand? Was it raining when Stay Noah built here. the ark? Stay here. Uh, so I'm... Um, kind of... 
kind of dumbfounded here a little bit. One why I can't check the other message. Why wouldn't it just say one message if it's only got one message on it? Wouldn't let me skip. Where am I supposed to put that crank? That's the other question. I had assumed it would open this thing up. But apparently I was wrong about that. Oh, this is a crowbar. That's a tire iron. I thought it was a, some kind of crank. That's a tire iron. I could tell from the sound and now looking at it, it's got a socket on the end. So can I smash this thing? that notepad go? Didn't it tell me to smash something? Bottom drawer bust. Remove top drawer to access. Uh, maybe I have to actually remove some kind of a I don't know what I would take though. Move this chair maybe? No, that's not it. So what am I missing here? Jumping skulls, huh? Obviously, I'm missing something. Can I just crouch maybe and go underneath that thing maybe? Is that what's up? That's not what's up. And those sound effects are screwed up. Alright. So let's take a different approach here instead of trying to just smash everything. Maybe I'm supposed to be seeing something here. That's why they gave me this black light instead of just a regular light. Oh, haha. There's blood or something, <laughs> some kind of fluid on the floor. Right, so we saw some stains on the floor. supposed to do with that information but there it was some more over here a lot of a lot more some on the wall ah
Is this a puzzle? That I'm supposed to be working? Is that what's up? Where did that panel go that fell? That's odd. This whole thing wants to move. But it's not. It's weird. like it wants to move This thing is jank, man. I'm hoping this isn't some kind of puzzle because it's not working very well mechanically. So you think so? There we go. Well, <laughs> I don't know exactly. Well, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell, man? That's what I get for touching it, I suppose. Guess I'll just do what I did the first time and keep messing with it until it just clips open. I think that's supposed to be some kind of a slide puzzle, but it doesn't work very well. But anyway, we have the socket exposed now, so... Well, I'm going to take it as a win. Does that not go there? There we go. It was dramatic, man. I wish it was that dramatic when I put the tire iron on my actual lug nuts. It'll be entertaining then. You're all pissed off because your flat, tire's flat, and then all of a sudden, bong! Each time you take one off, it'd be pretty sweet. Okay, what the hell happened? I have no clue. Deep breaths. Sit back. Relax. Alright, so we get to examine a dark room with a... Whoa, that's creepy. Look at these things, man. Antique doll heads. It's nuts. This environment seems a bit spooky. So something scary could happen in here. And we need to be prepared for that emotionally. This is where they keep all the bird pictures. I knew they had a stash somewhere. Alright, what else do we have here? We have more binders. Boxes and bags, bags and boxes. There's some patient bracelets. Lee Madison. Any more info on that besides the dude's name? Patient number. No date of birth. Dr. Green. 
Taylor Jefferson. Again, no info, just the patient number. Taylor Walker. Again, Dr. Green, no date of birth. Got some world's greatest doctor mugs. Luggage, now that's interesting. I wonder who belongs to this luggage. This one has a pretty pronounced stain on it. Well, that's a unicorn. I thought it was a stain. It's a unicorn. A lantern. Is that a propane tank? That is a propane tank. It's a propane stove. This is stuff from uh, Pelican. Not Pelican. Cypress Lodge. Ooh, look at that. Halloween mask. Who will let me wear it? Clothing, children's clothing. I don't want to have to tear through all these. Boxes and shelves. Looks like there's. No, there's a wall. Alright, so obviously I'm supposed to find something here. First book of Moses called Genesis. That's not the one from the other room because it's not torn. There's a medical kit. Anything in there? No, that's a cool old box though. Well, if I really got to tear through all this stuff, it's going to take a minute. Missing. Frameless picture. Oh, there's the picture. Hmm. Well, not all of it's interactive. That's a good thing. this oh, that's just more junk oh, look at that little alligator okay this is significant for some reason I wonder what I'm supposed to do with this thing this is obviously something to do with the lodge there was a big gator at the lodge oh look the doll heads turned around here a rattle sounds like a rattlesnake that mask looks weird in the dark I don't know what's happening here, but it feels ominous. Oh, the mask changed.
Purgatory. Hmm. I would say being in a mental institution is probably very much like being in purgatory. We've got some weird particle effects going on here now, too. And a light. Was that light there before? It wasn't, was it? ticking noise that generally happens I hear it when something changes you know, let's let the game know that I see this game I totally see it purgatory what's next Something just sounded bad. And these sound effects are creepy, man. physics in this game are weird like th you can't make items touch each other like they, they repel like magnets <laughs> it's crazy making noise like something weird's happening but I'm not noticing it whatever it is So maybe that light coming on over here is significant. Or maybe it was on to begin with and I just didn't notice it. But I'm gonna mess around over here a little. Patient seventy seven eighty deceased. Patient seventy seven eighty deceased. Keeping a lot of books on seventy seven eighty.
don't see anything significant over here. There's my little alligator buddy. I wondered what happened to him. Weird, I can't grab that one piece. It just won't let me hold it. Knock it in the port. Can I grab it now? No, I'm just not allowed to grab that, I guess. It wasn't programmed for me to be able to grab that. So weird. <laughs> Can I break these things? Apparently not. So I've pretty much cleared these two shelves here. No apparent weaknesses in the wall. Nothing odd on the ceiling or floor. All right, so let's clear these two shelves. Tell me I can't grab the damn screwdriver. Why would there be a screwdriver sticking in the wall that I can't grab? That makes no sense. What is this? One of those toy cassette players. <laughs> Look at this crap, man. That's jank as it can be. Missing a battery. Can I take the battery out? Maybe I need to find a battery for it. Maybe that's the game here. I don't know. this box I can't really move it Its eyes are following me. So creepy. So look, 
That's us, just stay on it. That's so creepy. Look it has blood around its neck too. Evil. Alright, so we're gonna find you a new home, little buddy. Right in there, in the box that I can't move. The mask somehow made its way up here too, on top of the Bible. Can't mask the Bible, you old devil. I know you've tried for years. Expecting another mask. Purgatory. Okay, I heard some more weird music, like something happened. It's hard to tell in the mess I made. Anything weird happen here? that stupid baby doll head end up being something that I need and I just threw it in that box that's immovable this one doesn't want to look at me this is a normal head this is how baby doll heads are supposed to behave you evil SOB normal baby doll head So I've turned this place upside down. I don't know what else the game wants from me to trigger whatever's supposed to happen next. Oh, well, there's a battery in it. How come I didn't notice that before? I'm going to go ahead and try this screwdriver one more time while I'm down here. No, nope, still not going to let me have that screwdriver. Uh, let's see if I can get this battery out. The battery's gone. Did it magically go into the tape recorder? did magically went through the top of the tape recorder now we are in business well the play button's already down so what am I supposed to do here rewind it the thing has batteries in it come in supposed to do probably turn around if I had to guess this thing still looking at me it is super creepy all right let's see what happens when I turn around nothing you got anything in you no you do not So I got the batteries for the tape recorder and it just doesn't want to play. Do I need to find a tape maybe? And magically wave it over top of the thing so that it can melt through and get inside there? Playing now, there's weird sounds happening. There's weird, 
weirdness happening, but I can't tell if it's this or something else. I hear breathing in my ears. And something that sounds like a pump. Coming from overhead. Over here somewhere. What is that? More luggage. I'm confused. What is that? It's just kind of coming from the ceiling here, to be honest. That's what it sounds like. Definitely coming from over here. game is so clumsy now. I was enjoying it, but this is starting to get annoying. What the hell? It was a loud noise, but I don't know what exactly... Oh, it's the door. So I kneeled down in front of the door, or kneeled down in front of this tape player, and the door opens. I grabbed the screwdriver, and I guess that's the end of the scene. <gasps> that was so weird. I don't even understand the meaning of that. That was just weirdness, fumbling around in a dark room. I took nothing from it, as far as my story goes. It's just like a weird place purgatory that's a pretty good word for it so that was kind of annoying but onward we go well, i guess we did take something from it something seemingly pretty insignificant at the time but here we are again mark kitchen kayla jefferson clark eastman madison lee these were the names on the hospital bracelets i found there are their patient numbers it looks like it says new ID, so it looks like they've been giving new identities. Haha. -ha. So these people are up to something. They've been relocated. So they're bringing these people in. I mean, obviously, they're not going to do witness protection at. Uh, 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 psychiatry, psycholo psychology institute, right? So these people have been giving new identities. They probably think that they are these people and they've been re relocated and released into society. <laughs> Why? How? I don't know. We've got some pictures over there. We've got some passports here. Won't let me open it, but they're probably just blank passports, I imagine. Oh, it looks like this appears to be a uh, an old school photo development lab, a photo lab. If you take your pictures and dip in these chemicals to develop them. So this is the door operation here. There's some chemicals. Huh. Photo size 900. Obviously, I got some work to do here somewhere. Photo stop black and white development process. Prepare the enlarger. Turn off room lights and only use a red safe light. I guess that. Turn off the enlarger lamp, put a sheet of paper into the easel, shiny side up, switch on the enlarger lamp, 
and expose the whole sheet for a few seconds. Slide the paper quickly and smoothly into the developer, making sure there are no bubbles on the shiny surface. After 10 seconds, lift the paper out. Don't be alarmed. The specialist chemicals used in photostop process differ from traditional photography processing and will leave the sheet blank for now. Let the photo sit in this tray for 5 seconds to stop the developer from processing. Place the photo in the fixer. After 5 seconds, the photo should start to be revealed. So we're going to develop some pictures here, obviously. We have a loud ticking clock that's going to allow us to follow these instructions meticulously. So this is pretty cool. Nice way to make up for the jank fest I just played through. Alright, so... Looks like somebody spilled something here. Looks like somebody's got... taken a scalpel and doctoring up these passports. Maybe this is what happened to my family, you think? I think it's quite possible. This place got a hold of my family and relocated them somewhere. I guess that'd be better than them being dead, huh? Let's see if I can read anything on here. Laura Williams. All right, nothing. So they're taking these pictures and resizing them down and putting them in the passports. And here we have the ones that we're going to need to work on. This one's been scratched out. But when I grabbed it, the sad piano music started playing. Let's try it out, huh? Ten seconds, right? Ten seconds there. Take it out. Five seconds here. Five seconds here. do anything to this. Let's try the blank one. Right, let's try the blank one. Or maybe I should have turned the photo off. It said turn off the enlarger lamp. Put a sheet of... Turn on the room light. Turn off the enlarger. Switch on and expose it for a few seconds. All right, we're gonna try this again. Turn it off, set that there, turn it on. Expose the whole thing for a few seconds. Okay. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we have a person. We hang this one up. Oh. Oh, 
Well, that's lovely sounding. Oh, we're back in the room. And it is daytime. How long were we out for that one? Two hours just like the last two. Alright, so here's my issue. We just did all that. And that room that we went into was a complete jank fest. But if I stop it right here, which I'm going to, this is the logical stopping point. When I come back, it's going to make me play through the whole thing again before I can start it. So I guess what I'll do after I end the video, I can just trigger the next scene and then cut it off before we get too far in it. But in interesting, to say the least. Uh, we didn't uncover very much more truth about my own past, but we did dig into the um, the uh, activities of this uh, institution that I'm in. Apparently they're up to some shady business giving people new identities and releasing them into the world complete with forged passports. Maybe they're sleeper cells. Who knows? Hopefully we will by the end of this thing. Um, my curiosity's peaked. What about you? What did you think? Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you like what you see here, click the like button, subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell. When we uh, come back, we're going to grab this here crow. I'm sure this is the next thing we have to do and stick it on that board there and try to uncover some more secrets, either about myself or about this place. And hopefully, in the end, it's all going to tie itself together and uh, everything will be cool. I'm thinking here that maybe these memories that I'm having might be false the way that they're playing with these people and giving them new identities maybe maybe I'm not who I think I am who knows I'm still the unreliable narrator at this point we still have lots to learn anyways I want to thank you for watching and I will see you another day from another game see you later